Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another Wolfenstein Youngblood. So, I don't know if I'm going to continue this. Like, I'm, I'm definitely playing today for you guys, obviously. But I wanted to explain some things. Uh, me and my girlfriend managed to finish the game. Now, for those of you who are really serious about finishing it, let me point something out. So, look at this guy. See those little bars above his head next to his health, the little white bars? If you look at the guns, they have different ammo types next to the bullets. Like, right, right there. Ah. Okay, this guy's getting close. I'm gonna have to murder him. Uh, he had white bars, so shotgun would do. So his head doesn't exist. And they're mad. So that's pretty much it. If they don't now, from what I can understand, if you manage to burn down their armor, then any gun should theoretically work afterwards. Like these guys all go down by the shotgun, but this one's probably gonna use the assault rifle because of its armor type. But now what I need is- oh shit. So, as I pointed out, the guns have specific ammo types. You know, this one, for instance, has that weird white bars. Then you have this one, it's like the boxes, and that's pretty much it. That's your ammo type, the boxes and the bars. Here's something big. Oh. Hold on a second. Maybe. Uh, I'll continue my thought after I murder this one. Uh. People have said that enemies spawn continuously. I actually found it's not entirely true. If you kill the commandant, uh, everything should chill out afterwards. Um, actually, I do. I can uh, upgrade. That's good. Can I? I can't. Can't take it to level 20. All right. So, here's the deal with this game that I have to call bullshit on. As I said, guns have different armor types. Girl, well, the Nazis this have gun, scheduled a meeting at a place checked. near your location based off of the STG-44. For those of you that so don't know much about guns, the STG-44, I looked it up, luck. it took something like similar to a 7.62 bullet, which is the kind of ammo an AK-47 takes. Now, why I have to, now this is why I have to call bullshit. This gun can penetrate certain types of armor because that's how the game's set up. This gun and the pistol can penetrate the same armor. This is a pistol. Pistols don't take 7.62. You mean to tell me that the Nazis magically managed to stick pretty much an AK-47 bullet in a pistol? Hello. Well, it ain't gonna fit in this gun. That 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 doesn't work. So you mean to tell me that this gun hey, right Abby, here how we doing so can do far? just as much damage I'd say your performance has been as this gun? Hot but yet when I'm up against an armor type of this, an automatic shotgun ain't gonna do shit. This ain't gonna do nothing. I gotta call bullshit. If I come up to you with an automatic oh. shotgun and the barrel is in your face, I expect your head to disappear. Regardless of what ammo you, what type of armor you're carrying. Close range, your head is disappearing. I don't care. I have to call bullshit on that. So, their armor type system doesn't make sense. Now, if they did something where it's like, you know, the shotgun and the assault rifle do similar damage, um... Lighter arm, you know, lighter arms like the submachine gun and the pistol can go after smaller enemies. You know, uh, uh, drones, etc. I, I could accept that. Maybe you know, the shotguns meant shotgun assault rifle meant for more heavier targets like big robots and, and like the Panzerhund and so forth. But then you, you get enemy types like uh, drones and whatnot, and that should be for the submachine gun. So that, that's where I have to call bullshit. I, I don't understand how they figured that i don't know who out in bethesda said hey this makes sense now, i have to be careful because i remember two very big pissed off nazis used to hang out here just gonna creep on over here nobody gotta know nothing 
but that's that's where I stand on the guns. That's really on. just I'm dumb. On my way to you now. now I can kind of now the problem with this game is that you either have to know how to flip to your correct gun in time, so using the mouse wheel, or use holding V if you're on PC and using your weapon wheel. So that's pretty much you know it's just a lot of muscle memory. Now oh wrong, again wrong ammo type. Oh, and now this one takes a different ammo. Nope, and I'm yet still on the fucking shotgun even though I told it to switch. That's the thing, the mouse is very sensitive, so you need to be on the right, like, you need to be precise. Which, again, is why I kept it all bullshit. Now, word of warning to anybody who is starting off this game or getting hard to take any close to the end. Do not run into the last mission under level 35. Do fuck not you, Jess, do it. it. I am warning you, do not do it. You will fuck yourself. The game locks you in that mission. Jesse, get me up. The game locks you in there. So if you are under leveled, you're fucked. That's it. The game is over for you. You are not the game will not let you leave. Now the first three brother towers, I believe, require between level 20 and 25 to actually beat them because the enemies that are in there. Now if you wanted to complete now after you complete those towers, you'll be introduced to the game's main antagonist. Who are you? Really? You're gonna hide up there? Come on. Okay, hold on a second. After you complete the three main brother towers, you're introduced to the main antagonist, in which the game will push you to go after them. You can still complete side missions and ignore the main mission of going after the main antagonist. I'm trying not to say their name because I don't want to spoil it, but at this point I think most people know. Okay, just kick me off the fucking wall, asshole. Alright, come here. I gotcha. Hold on. I'm coming for you now, bro. Where are you? Now, another thing I have to call bullshit quick. Um, the assault rifle can do damage to people who have shotgun armor, but it doesn't work the other way around. Again, seriously, gotta call bullshit. But anyway, uh, what was I getting at? So yeah, the game will lock you in. You are going to be fucked at that point. The game will literally say you need to be at between level, I believe, 32 and 35. And a little spoiler for you guys. The way the first one, the way he has, he's like a Dark Souls enemy where he kind of has two or three phases. Actually, three phases, yeah. First phase, he's in a power armor suit like ours, and he's actually kind of mean. He teleports, he's pretty quick on his feet. You're going to want to be ready for that. Uh, you do get god powers, apparently, which... It's not like you become God himself, it's more like you could do like some Jedi mind trick shit and grab bolts in midair, but uh, after that, I mean that fight wasn't too bad. I mean he might if you're if you were the competent co-op player, you should be okay. After that though, you end up on the roof and he's got a jetpack. It the only way to really do damage to this guy is with the jetpack uh, shooting his jetpack, and you need this gun that I'm holding right here, a gun with this armor type. This, but you have to shoot him in the jetpack, so one player has to be drawing his attention while the other one is shooting his backpack, jetpack, whatever you want to fucking call it. And to shoot him in the back. So long as you guys do that, you should be okay for the second phase. The third phase is where the game gets really fucking annoying. The third phase is where the game punishes you if you are under level. So he comes at you in a super big ass power armor. Uh, he's rocking a, I think he's got twin lasers and twin assault rifles if I remember correctly. So he's rocking four weapons at once. On top of that, a bunch of Nazis are all down one floor below you guys. So there's that. So if you're on the top trying to fight him, well, he's gonna you're in a very small arena. And he can corner you very easily if you're not careful. The other problem is if he goes downstairs to get a little bit more space, you're dealing with a bunch of Nazis. So you can fight one overpowered enemy, or one overpowered enemy and a bunch of like, really annoying enemies. It doesn't work very good for you. The game will fuck you, too, in that way. Because most people probably sit there and go, yeah, you know what, one enemy. Not bad. I mean, it's the boss. We bought him, beat him three times already. I'm sorry, two times already. Ah, eh, third time shouldn't be too bad. Well, the dick calls in air support. Yeah, big-ass Nazi drone fighter plane thingamajig will strafe run your part of the map. So if you're in one area, he'll kind of back off a little bit and the plane will come in and just start lo lobbing missiles at you. So what do you do in that case? Pray. You up. fucking pray. That's pretty much it. Wait, you gotta wait to see where the damn thing is gonna show up and then hopefully evade. 
and it's a lot of rinse and repeat. Go here, do this. Go here, do this. Go here, do this. Back and forth. And the fight gets very annoying. Um, I think me and my girlfriend died maybe like two, maybe three times this asshole. And then the problem is, this game does not save your ammo. So if you died, if you died at all during the fight, you will lose the am ammo. I was going to say armor. You lose your armor too. You lose your ammo that you've used. So say your shotgun had 300 rounds of ammo, and you use, say, 100, you should have it, and the, the game's going to record that you have 200. Even though you died and technically the fight restarts, you lose that extra, that 100 rounds of ammo. You're fucked. On top of that, your shared lives. If you had three, the game says screw you and only gives you one. So, the game punishes you for failing the first time around. If you don't succeed the first round, you will not, you're going to have a harder time. And I have no idea where I'm going right now. I think. Come on. There we go. One thing that made this game bearable, and I'm going to show you guys this. Uh, wrong thing. Hold on. Type signals. So, the thumbs up gives your partner 50 health. If you have the cyborg one, it gives you full health. I mean, full armor. Then this one, the martial artist, gives you full health. So, if you have a competent co-op player, the smart move would be have one of you have the full health and the other one have the full armor. They, they, you don't have to worry place, about. Abby. Well done, girls. You don't have to worry about it working for only one of you. It will work for both of you. So, if you use a pep, so long as it's within range, it will give you both full armor, full health, depending on who has what and who's using it. So, with that said, be careful of that. Uh, what else was there that I had to point out? Yeah, the, the final boss is overall a dick. Um, did I not get any level ups for that? Like, did I not any? Now, here, here's a problem I'm having. Oh, okay, laser breach device. Um, excuse me, game, where do you want me to go? Okay, there we go. Okay. So, yeah, with that being said, I don't know if I can, I don't know if I physically can finish this game on my own. Uh, I might play a little bit, grind the side missions, and then if I get to that point where I can, I might continue it, but this may likely be my last video for this series because... Again, I just don't know if I can beat it on my own. And it's not like I'm, like, you know, I'm bad at the game. I mean, I'm good. I'm pretty, I'd say I'm pretty decent at Wolfenstein games. It, it just, the way this game is set up, with the way that final boss is set, and the fact that it eliminates your shared life, with the fact of the incompetence of the AI player, I don't know if I can do it. That's pretty much it in a nutshell. I don't know if I'm going to physically be able to finish it. I need to hope that... Jess is going to be able to use pep signals because I don't know if she can. And if she doesn't, I need to prioritize what's more important right now, my health or my armor. That's going to be tough too. And that fighter plane, when it comes in, it eats up a lot of your health. If you, your armor, you, you say, for instance, you started off with... Uh, wait, hold on a second. I'm just going to figure out where the fuck I'm going. Uh, Where is the laser? Kill the radio operator... Am I missing something here? Oh, there we go. So, I, I lost my train of thought there for a second. But the, the thing is, say you're rocking 100% health, 100% armor. 100% armor. Plane comes by, strafes you, you get hit with every rocket, you're looking at 20% now. And fucking main boss is still shooting at you, so that gives him a very big opening to fuck you royally. If you are not prepared for this fight, if you are underleveled, okay. you will get screwed. Me and my girlfriend failed. We were both level 35, and we failed two or three times. We are at the ma the necessary rank, the minimum rank, to do this fight, Get ready, and we struggled. Wait, you need people are recommending that you do this fight at least at level 40, at least that, just to make it bearable. I I really in, I, from experience I will say this. Yes, that is absolutely that is absolutely correct. Do not attempt this fight under under level 40. If you really want to stretch it, you're impatient. 38. But do not, do not go under that. Do not go for 35. Just because you're at 35 does not mean you're good enough for it. I promise you. If you're doing this on solo, you need to definitely be at 40. It's just unreasonable. Now, one of my gripes with this game, I'm gonna say, is I get that's a $40 game, but the story just kind of ends. Which I'm kind of disappointed about because for a forty dollars game, there's still a lot of story development that could have been done. With this. Okay, I want my assault rifle. He also had to pull that out. 
Keep it up. Show those Nazis who's the boss. There is a lot of room for story development. Uh, there's a lot of room for character growth for Jesse so And I just felt like the developers didn't give a shit. Um, the game just kind of ends. Now, I I'm more or less just gonna fucking spoil it for you guys. And at this point, it's just known. So, when you go and fight the final boss afterwards, Blaskowitz kind of just shows up after having his fun with you know, the Nazis downstairs, which I'm gonna say this. With the way Blaskowitz was, I'm more interested to know what the hell he was doing the whole time. I really don't care about Justin's selfie story. He makes it so much more interesting. He's you talking about it. alternate dimensions and how Hitler is uh, trying to destroy the world from beyond the grave. Uh, let me explain that, because uh, it sounds absurd. So basically, Hitler had this whole doomsday thing set up. Uh, a little backtracking, because I'm getting way off topic. So, well, not way off topic, I'm just getting off hand. So... If anybody played the last Wolfenstein game, Set found, well, Blazkowicz found this weird cylinder item thingamajig and showed it to Set. And Set started freaking out because he's like, I know it's a key, but I'm pissed because I don't know what it opens. And for the longest time, he's reading notes and he's trying to figure it out. And you can see he's noticeably pissed because he doesn't know what the fucking thing opens. I guess the developers did that intentionally because they weren't sure what they could have done with that. So they wanted to leave it open to interpretation so that way later on they could do, do something with it. Here's the deal, though. We find out that that key that the set has is used to open alternate dimensions. I mean, uh, I, you know what? Part of me wants to hate it. Part of me wants to say that's so fucking stupid. But it actually makes a lot of sense when you think about it. When you think about Bethesda's entire franchise going from... Wolfenstein to Doom to Commander King. When you think about how these characters are actually all related and how their stories actually do connect, it makes a lot of sense. It, it does, because remember, with Doom, now like I've said, some way, shape, or form, Blastoise is related to Doom Marine. We know this. Doom Marine is related to Blastoise. Blastoise is like his great grandfather or his great great grandfather. He's up there somewhere. Now, with that being said, we're aware that Argent meant the Argent facility managed to open up a portal into hell. An alternate dimension, you could say. So what's to say that they didn't use Set's key how many decades later to open up that gateway to hell? We never knew. We never found out how they opened it. We just knew they opened it. And oh, that's a panther. Yeah, he's pissed. I mean, I did murder his friend, so uh, I guess I guess he's his right to be pissed, but uh, okay. Oh, can I get on top? I can't get on top. Shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, it actually makes a lot of sense and I can actually deal with that. But now here's my problem. Blaskowitz is actually kind of a bitch. Um, he he kind of comes out and he's like, you know, H Hitler had this doomsday plan and that if he died, he was going to open up a dimension. He was going to destroy the world and that's actually what's happening. So supposedly, because Blaskowitz made mention of it that the weather was changing and... Uh, you know, all, all stuff, like, things just didn't seem right. He mentions it in the beginning, and you find out that apparently Hitler had this plan that if he was to die... Oh, wait, did Jess just... Did she just fucking die? She just fucking died. Oh, Jess, you're fucking stupid. If Hitler died, he would kind of initiate this, like, doomsday plan, and essentially the world would become uninhabitable. You know, humanity would not Thank be able you, to Jess. live on this planet anymore due to what had been done. I'm not going to explain how it happened, but essentially, Blaskowitz, I, I guess Hitler went to just too. trigger it Are and kill everybody, but Blaskowitz stopped him, but it ended up, like, triggering the Doomsday event, so it's, like, kind of slowly occurring, from my understanding of it. And what ended up happening was that now that Hitler's dead, this is going on, and... With the way the story is going, now the Gestapo and the SS are in the middle of like this civil war sort of power. Uh, which is what's going on here. The main antagonist is trying to build the fourth Reich. It's not very creative, I know. Um, so you know, later on in the game, we find out that he's, he's got people in Berlin who is on his side and that they're going to uh, stage a coup. 
and Abby, that's pretty much what happened. So even though he dies, the crew is still going on. So we can see. Catching so probably if another. Oh, we gotta find a battery. So if we do see a, sec a third wolf in second game, we're going to see this. We're probably going to be involved with this coup somehow. So that's pretty much what's going on. At this point, Paris would probably be liberated, considering the Nazis are more focused on retaking Berlin than anything else. Or I should say the Nazis are focused on taking Berlin. Confusing. Yeah. When you really think about it, it's confusing. But yeah, so that's where it's at. Um, the story's not very well developed. And I'm a little disappointed with that. Um, you know, antagonist, you kind of figure it out. Now, and there are some things that I had to call bullshit on for these, for the main antagonist, because they attempt to poison the girls with wine. Now, I, I don't know if I'd say poison, more like they were going to use a sleep tonic in the wine to knock them out, and then they would murder them then. But, in my opinion, there's so much that can go wrong with that, because what if, for some reason, the girls realize, hey, which they do, something's not right here. This doesn't seem right. Let me not actually drink this and play dead. Well, you fucked up. Another thing that didn't make sense to me is, why wouldn't you just, like, wh why sleep? Just put, like, rat poison in it or something. That way, when they, if they actually do drink it, it's going to kill them over time or right then and there. Or better yet... This is the Nazis we're talking about. They're like super scientific. At this point, they've got to have like super okay. racing. Put that shit on the lip of the cup. That way, if they do BS around. it, their lips are on the, okay. lip, on the side Let's of the cup. They're fucked either way. So, I mean, that's just me coming from logic. Um, you know, typical stupid supervillain thinks that he's almighty and, and, and fucks himself over. But it is what it is. Um. As I figured, there's only two male characters, like two main male characters that actually have a voice in this game. Uh, Blaskowitz and the main evil Nazi. Um, I mean, Nazi's already evil, I don't know what I'm saying. Evil. But, that's true. Oh, okay. I'm getting my ass kicked. I need to pull up my girl because these Nazis have a different armor. But, yeah, that's pretty much how it is. I just feel like it's not very well developed. Um, they could have done so much more with this story. It, like, even the world itself could have been done so much. So, when you take the Brother Towers... Oh, I should probably call her to get me to... Fuck up. When you take the Brother Towers, all they're told is Abby now has control over the Towers uh, computer. Like, she just is able to... She's just able to hack into the computer. And that's it. That's all we know. The world doesn't change, and the enemies don't change, and that's really it. So, it's like, so what did I accomplish? what really happened. You, know, it, it, you don't get any sense of accomplishment. The game doesn't give you any kind of pat on the back. It's like, hey, level up. Now go do something. Um, now what I would say is, if you're working the French Resistance, what would have been a good idea is after you take the Brother Towers, like instead of using them for like computers, make them more like security towers. And as you take them over, the Resistance is able to fight back. And you start seeing more Resistance fighters on the street fighting the Nazis. That would have been awesome. You know, every now and then maybe there's like a, I don't know, a Gestapo camp that you're seeing a bunch of rebels raiding. And, you know, you can choose to help them, which will earn you experience points. That would have been a cool aspect. You don't need a long ass story. Can Jess just get her fucking ass over here? What is she doing? Yes. Stop being retarded. What are you doing? Oh, you're just going to stand there. Done standing there? Hey, you're done standing there. Good. Battery for that laser device secured, Jess. Uh, for shit like that, that's why I'm afraid to do the final boss. Because this game, you need a co-op player. You can play through most of the game by yourself. But when it comes down to the end, you need a co-op player. You are not finishing this game solo. I strongly doubt it. If you somehow manage to do that, fucking good for you. Like hat on the back supreme for you, dude, because I don't know how the hell you made it back. Yeah, like, you pulled a rabbit out of the hat. That's pretty much how I'm getting here. There is no way. I really have no hope to finish this game on my own. That's pretty much the way that final boss is. I know I'm exaggerating. I know it sound like I'm exaggerating here, but just the armor bullshit alone. I mean, she's smart enough to just come get me. 
because I have to actually call you to get me on. Look at this, look at this. Shotgun barely does anything to his armor. The only reason why I was able to do it is she's using the assault rifle, so her armor type is going to work. One thing that I hate about this game. Check this out. No Nazis down here, right? I want to go here. Oh! Is it actually working? It actually worked! Holy shit! It actually fucking worked. So, multiplayer, you're not going to be able to do what I just did. When there are enemies so much as on your fucking map, they could be on the other side of the goddamn map. If you're visible on your map, the game will not let you teleport. The game gives no shits. If you have so much as one red blimp, the game will not let you teleport. Okay, so Another problem is that sometimes the enemies don't always show up because they're hiding. So... If they don't show up on your map, the game will be like, nope, can't teleport, there's an enemy nearby. Where? Where is it? I don't fucking see him. And you're going to have to explore the map a little bit in order to find him. Because the game doesn't want to tell you shit. So that's kind of the problem. I'm, fuck it, I'm just going to run. I was going to say, I love how these guys just kind of let me run. Come on, come on. I'm just saying screw it. I could go for the experience points. I'm just saying screw it, though. There are some perks that are honestly completely useless in this game, I've noticed. Like, if you just went for the... Like, hold on a second, let me just point out what I'm talking about. If you go for... Uh, muscle, if you, if you go for this one... Oh, I can do this now. Sweet! You can carry big-ass guns in your pocket now. I don't know where the hell she's able to store it. I don't know where she's able to store the guns she has now. But you're able to store them. I, I gotta say, though, that chick has to have, like, super legs in order to really carry them. I mean, not even super legs. I don't even know where she's storing this. But, granted, the Blyskowitz family has always been able to do that for decades. I mean, like I said, you know, fucking Doom Marine's able to do it. So, why shouldn't they? I mean, it makes sense. Now, I am, like I said, very curious to see how this whole story is going to play out. Because of the fact that... Technically, I think uh, Soph Gotta is charge up the, laser thingy, Jess. the Doom Marine's mother, or I shouldn't say her mother, his mother. Oh my God! If they make Doom Marine, if they pull a fucking knife for you, yeah, I'd, like, I'd be a little upset with that because of the fact that part, because if you ever look at the promotional pictures and scenes of Doom Marine's helmet, you can see it's clearly a guy. That face is clearly a dude. So if they just suddenly say, no, 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 it's a chick, yeah, that's the I digress. Commander Keen is, or should be, Soph's son. That should be how it goes. That's my theory. I don't know if this is going to come to fruition. Commander Keen is going to be a smartphone. I, mean, I can't see it having a major release. Um, I'd be shocked. I'd be shocked if it ended up on PC, but you know, at the same time, I'm not surprised with Bethesda. Can use the underground entrance to access Brother 2 but, now. Yeah, so, handy. Hold on, so I can go into Brother 2 now, but... Yeah, look at this, look at this shit. Now, if you see this, that means don't fucking go here. Literally just means it's so high of a fucking level, you got no chance. The game wants you to be at level 22. Like, this one still says 20 for me, even though I'm level 20. Basically, what this game is saying is be over 20. Don't be on 20, over. So being 21 and over would probably be your better option. Um, that is a you know, rule of thumb for this game. If it's a, whatever level it says, make sure you're over it. You. Thank you. Um, so now Blaskowitz, like I said, is a little bit of a bitch because he's just like, oh my god, girls, I, I, I ruined the world. I I broke it and now I'm trying to fix it. And uh, you just sitting there, I'm like, dude, you're Blaskowitz. The world could literally be on fire from a solar flare. And you're still going to be fighting Nazis with a big-ass grin on your face. When... Who said... At Bethesda, yeah, let's make Black Sports a little bit more of a bitch. Like, this dude shouldn't be worrying about the world coming to an end. I mean, granted, the only defense I can really give him is that he does point out that he saw an alternate universe where everything's normal, there's no Nazis, and... Yeah, his daughters are able to live normal lives, and... Him and his wife are just kind of having a good old time. And 
then with that said, like, all right, I guess it does make you feel a certain way, especially when you have kids. But I, I still feel like, you know, Blazkowicz, you know, has even said he's like, you know, like, you know, I'm sorry. No, he's had dreams of having a wife and kids and everything like that. So you see, he's deep down a family man. That's not stopping him from murdering Nazis. He's not seeing a group of Nazis and going, shit, man, I wish I had kids. No, he's sitting there with dual-wielding assault rifles, freaking having a good time. That's who Blazkowicz is. So for them to just kind of make him all... Blah, it's weird. But, uh, yeah, that, that's where I have to stand on it. This game isn't terrible, but they could have done so much more with it. Um, you can buy boosts using in-game currency, which is good. So if you need it, it's there. Um, currency does come by very quickly. I mean, I already have 2,000. Um, I would say save up it. Save up your points and focus on your favorite guns. Because, like, in this case, like, say, for instance, my shotgun, I can improve it at some point when my level allows me. I can improve it and up, up its damage. Uh, eventually you're going to be getting even bigger guns. The rest of this wheel will fill up. You're going to want to keep that in mind. So I'd say save your points, rack them up. Feels Don't like focus like... on all your weapons. Focus Look on the guns me. you're going to use mostly. Yeah, it's because he looks I would so say the cool guns that you're probably going to use the most is the, the Sturmgrenner and the... Okay, I, I, I can't fucking say this in German. You're going to use the assault rifle and the shotgun mostly. Probably. I want to upgrade those two to max yeah, and then the bigger guns put the rest of your points into that. As for your skills... Uh, focus on, you know, your mind and armor, and then focus on your muscle. I, I don't know how I feel about power, because if you went, like, for, like, why did I did and did the cloak, again, it's something you're never going to use. I mean, you could do crush, and it'll actually kill enemies or even incapacitate them when you slam them, but again, it's those type of things where you're not thinking about it at the time of the fight. It's just going to kind of happen. Your muscle memory is going to kick in, you're going to do it. You're going to go, holy shit, that was awesome. But it's, again, focus on health, armor, things like that. If you really, again, before you go for that final boss, after the enemy reveals themselves, start grinding, if you haven't already. Or from the get-go, grind. Do all the side missions if you can. Once you hit 35, start feeling comfortable. Because then, I would say do the brothers maybe at like 25, 30, and then by the time you hit brother 4, which is the final mission, you should be 35+. plus. So you should be okay after that. Make sure you have a co-op partner for that. I strongly doubt the AI is going to be able to help you much in that fight. Uh, I might play on my own just to grind, but that's where I'm going to leave it for today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, I hope what I had to say helps. I, I know half of it was me bitching and moaning, and the other half was me explaining what the game is. But I hope for the pieces that I did tell you in the advice, hope it makes your guys' time easier fighting that last boss than it did mine. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave comments, uh, subscribe please, and follow me on Twitter. As always, have a good one.